Three common mistakes that people make with nail forms is the topic. Tracy is gonna show you what that is and how to resolve it right now. Okay, today we are going to talk about forms. Something I absolutely hated for about six years of my career. I was a tip queen. I built a full clientele with it, um, but I had issues with it. However, forms just challenged me, man. Like there, I would be going, I would be trying it, it'd be working, and then all of a sudden, like try to put the form on, readjust, try to put it back on, readjust, like why all of a sudden is it the form not going on? Well, there's about three common reasons why you can have trouble with forms. So we're gonna problem solve those today so you don't have the problems that I was having. And once I learned this, once I was taught these three common things, I was able to start forming and I got rid of my tips. So let's get started. Step number one to doing forms, put on your glasses. Step number two, let's grab some forms. So when I used to do forms, I would be going and I knew I needed to take this back here and I would do the little wiggle that I was taught in school, might separate this and I was taught to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and then get the finger and then roll it up and secure it. Now, it works. It works for that nail. But the problem is, is you're jamming, you're going, you're putting them on. All of a sudden you come across something like, we're gonna create one, cause stuff doesn't really, you don't really have any square nail beds, do you? Maybe a couple, mm -hmm. but we didn't expose those. So we're gonna kinda create a square nail bed. So you're jamming, you're putting them on, you're like, this is good, this is great. And you go to put a form on a square nail and you're like, okay, hold up. It's not tucking underneath the way I want it to. I'm gonna kind of over exaggerate this because again, Steph doesn't have really a square nail bed. We're trying to fake it out. And you're like, okay, I'm trying to put it on and I'm ending up with, I'm hoping y'all can see this. Can you see the gap though? So we're trying to tuck it up in there and it's not really fitting so well underneath. And so we keep on playing with it and we keep on ending up with this gappage issue. Okay, so we're like, I can't form this finger. Do I need to pull tips out? What do I need to do? Simple, simple trick. If you take your form and we are going to take a pair of scissors and I don't want you to get a ruler out. We don't need to get a level out. We're just gonna kind of cut across this top part of the YN. In fact, these are even curved scissors. I do prefer straight. But of course I can never find that kind of stuff around here. Um, and then we're going to right here, attach it. Now, again, I don't want you guys to get so concerned about, okay, this has to be perfectly straight crossed. And now let's get this, let's get our level out. Let's make sure it's even from side to side. Hold on, hold on. Okay, nope, it's still crooked. It doesn't matter, guys. I just want you to grab that form. I want you to cut as best as you can across the YN, and then I want you to slap it on the form. Doesn't matter, still made a square form. Now, with those square nails, we can go, and can we can roll it right up in there Tuck it up and we no longer have our gappage. It fits, it fits nice and snug. So what I like to do is I would grab a roll of forms and I would take my scissors and I do about 10 to 20 of them at a time. Any downtime I had, cut across, put it on and put it back on. Do that all the way through. Now, when I come across a customer, because if you're like me, I have 
about two square nails on myself. So all the other forms work great. Then I come across those two nails and I need a square nail. Now that I have them cut, I don't have to stop and cut it in front of the customer. I can just grab my sheet, take it off and use it. What I just showed you works amazing for nail biters too. Most nail biters have that skin that tuck up. They're way back here, right? And they're kind of square because it's the way they bite them. Now for a nail biter, you're not gonna get it all the way tucked up to that natural nail, but if you square it off, and I'll show you, I'm gonna square it off a little lower. So we're going in the middle of that form this time, the thicker part. Square it off, and I'm gonna kind of go up higher on that form. Now, if she had a bitten nail all the way back here, again, guys, we're pretending, we're gonna kind of push down on her skin here. I'm gonna push down on her skin, the meaty part at the free edge, and kind of meet it up to her nail right here. Now, when I apply the product, I'm gonna apply it right here and kind of push it up and over. It might touch her skin just a little bit. And a lot of people are like, I thought we're not supposed to touch the skin. And yes, we do not wanna do that on a regular basis. If it touches a little bit of skin right here as it goes from the nail bed to the form, that's the first and the last time you're ever gonna do that. Next one, if you come across someone and you're like, first of all, I can't even get a tip to fit it. I don't even know how I'm gonna get a form to fit it. There's a super, super easy way of doing that. And we're gonna take our scissors again. And the forms have this natural center line right there, okay? We're gonna go over, if there's more lines, we're gonna go one, two, three over to the right. And again, prefer straight scissors, but it doesn't matter. And we're gonna go straight up. Again, we're not gonna get a ruler out. We're not gonna get our level out. It doesn't matter. We're gonna take that smaller piece, chuck it. Same thing on this form. We have that center line. And we're gonna go one, two, three to the left. Okay, straight up. Chuck that extra piece. And then we're gonna take our forms, both of them. And we're gonna just kinda that center line right there, I'm gonna kind of meet it up there. Again, never gonna get it straight, especially with me, as much as I shake. We're not gonna stress about it. Take that off. We can push this to the back. You have this little excess right here, and we're just gonna cut that out. This is where a curved set actually help, is helpful. And now we have a form that'll fit any thumb ever made. Okay, so that's huge helpful. You don't run across that too many times, but now you know what to do. When you do come across it, you go super, super quick. Our third thing that we have, I don't know if you can see, but I have extended hyponychium on my nails, on a couple of them, not all of them. And usually it's either hereditary or it could be from wearing long nails for an extended time. Your, your body kind of tries to compensate for the weight so skin can start to grow out. I kind of, in the shower, push it back lightly. I don't break the seal. You don't want to do that, but I'll, I'll push it back lightly in the shower. But what happens is if you ever get that person when you're doing forms on them and they keep on saying, you're trying to push it back and they're like, that hurts. And you're like, yeah, that means it fits. Form shouldn't hurt. I used to tell my clients that all the time. I didn't know. So if I try to get it, it doesn't want to fit very well. So I'm trying to jam it underneath my nail bed to try to get it to fit nice and tucked up. And it, it just hurts. And at first it honestly doesn't feel horrible, but after I sit here and you're doing my nails and you get to this 10th one, it, it hurts. It starts to really, really bother you. And nails shouldn't be painful. So a super easy way of taking care of that is we're going to take our form Again, push it back and we're gonna take those handy dandy scissors. We're just gonna make a notch, a little V right here where that center line is. We're gonna cut to the left of it. We're gonna cut to the right of it. We're gonna pull that out. And what that does, open that up so I can do my own, is it alleviates 
any pressure there. Now I kind of overdid mine. I didn't even need to do it that much. But if you have someone that has like a long free edge going on, I'm gonna show you. I can even tuck it up better now. You can see that notch. You don't have to see it on mine. I'm just showing you guys so you can see because if I had a longer nail bed or a longer free edge, it would be tucked underneath. But you can see how that's gonna relieve the pressure and we're not gonna have that pain. For mine, again, we don't have to go that big. I could have just taken my form and made more of a slight cut. Just a small notch, just depends how bad it is for people. And put it on. And now, pain free. Okay guys, that really is the three major things that I've ever ran across when doing forms. I'm sure there's a couple more. Put it in the comments below and that maybe I'm not thinking about right now. And I'll go, oh yeah, we'll do, we'll do another video. But these are the three most common ones. And again, when you're sitting there with some downtime and you're not doing your social media, your marketing, cut the forms. You could even make the big ones. You can make some of the ones for the extended hyponychium and you can do the square one square. Again, for me was the one I ran across over and over. But those little tips and tricks will make forms so much easier.